Welcome. Today we're going to design and prepare to cut a lost marble maze. To begin, we're going to select New from our top ribbon bar, Standard IPT, and click Create. We're going to begin with a 2D sketch on our XY plane. Click Front in the World Cube up here in the upper right-hand corner to zoom all. And we're going to start by beginning with our rectangle. Select that from the ribbon bar and click when you get the green dot at the origin. Click and stretch out a rectangle to the upper right hand quadrant. My horizontal dimension is 5 inches, so type 5 on the keyboard and press tab. My vertical dimension is 4 inches, type 4 on the keyboard, press the tab key, and press enter. Next we're going to green check mark, finish sketch. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to extrude. I want to extrude in direction number 2. And I want to extrude the thickness of my material, which is 0.75, which is 3 quarters of an inch, and click OK. Next, I'm going to take a 2D sketch, place it on my front view. Click front to zoom all. And I'm going to begin drawing a series of rectangles. My first rectangle, I'm going to choose from the ribbon bar at the top. I want to start from the left-hand edge of my workpiece. When that highlights, click and stretch a rectangle up and over to the right. My horizontal dimension for this rectangle is 4.5. Press the tab key. My vertical dimension is 0.3. Press enter on the keyboard. Press the escape key. Next, I need to locate this rectangle on my workpiece, so I'm going to select my dimension tool. I want to click from the bottom of the rectangle we just drew to the bottom of my workpiece. Bring this dimension out. This dimension is one5 8, 5, and green check mark, or press enter on the keyboard. Press the escape key. I'm going to take this time now in order to click my dimension and drag it up and off of my workpiece for these two dimensions. Next, I'm going to select rectangle tool again. Somewhere above the rectangle we drew, I'm going to click and stretch out another rectangle. This horizontal dimension is 3. Press the tab key. My vertical dimension is 0.3 for the marble to roll in. Press enter on the keyboard. Press the escape key. Next, I want a dimension again to locate this rectangle. I want a dimension from the left-hand side of the rectangle we drew to the left-hand side of the workpiece. Bring that dimension up. This dimension is 0.5, half inch, green check mark. And then I want a dimension from the top of my workpiece to the top of my rectangle I just drew, bring this dimension out. This dimension is 0.5, half inch, green check mark. Press the escape key. Let's take time now and click our dimension and drag it up and off of our workpiece. The same thing with this other dimension. We're going to keep all these dimensions off of our workpiece. Let's go back and choose Rectangle Tool again. Below that middle rectangle, I'm going to take and click, drag out a rectangle. This one is going to be 2 for a horizontal dimension. Press the Tab key. And my vertical dimension is 0.3. Press Enter on the keyboard. Now we need to locate this rectangle. So I'm going to do that using my Dimension Tool. Click Dimension. I want a dimension from the left-hand side of my rectangle to the left-hand side of my workpiece and bring this dimension down. Let's choose Dimension Tool, left-hand side of my rectangle, left-hand side of my workpiece. This dimension here is half inch, 0.5, green check mark. I also need the dimension from the bottom of this rectangle to the bottom of my workpiece. Bring this dimension out. This dimension here is 0.75, which is 3 quarters of an inch, and green check mark. Press the escape key. Let's take time now and drag our dimensions off of our workpiece. So click and pull your dimensions off. Click and pull your other dimension off. Next, we're going to choose Rectangle Tool again. 
I'm going to start in this lower left-hand corner, sorry, your lower right-hand corner, when I get a green dot. Make sure you're getting that green dot here so we're locking on to that corner of the rectangle. Click, stretch this dimension up. Here our horizontal dimension is 0.3. Press the tab key. My vertical dimension is 2.75, 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. And press enter on the keyboard. Press the escape key. Once again, I'm going to take, click my dimension. Drag these off of the workpiece. Next, I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm going to come over here to the top right-hand corner of my top rectangle, top right-hand corner. Wait for the green dot to appear. When it does, click and stretch out a rectangle. Here I want my horizontal dimension to be 0.3. Press the tab key. And I want my vertical dimension to be 2.75, 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. And press Enter. Press the Escape key. And once again, I'm going to take and click my dimension and drag them off of my workpiece. And the same with this one. Press the escape key. Next, I'm going to trim this up so I have a path for my marble to roll in. I'm going to use my trim tool for that. Click trim. And I want to trim these three lines out here. I want to take and trim these two lines out in between and these three lines out over here on the right. Press the escape key. So that's what we should look like right now. Let's trim again. Moving down to the lower rectangle, I'm going to click these two lines to trim them. Coming up to the top, these three we're going to trim out. And over here on the right hand side, these top two. Press the escape key. And now you can clearly see the path that the marble is going to roll in. And I'm not running into any lines. That looks good. Let's click Finish Sketch, the green check mark in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to take an extrude. I want to extrude and first select my path that the marble is going to roll in. When it highlights, click to select it. I want this to cut, so I'm going to choose my second button here. And then I'm going to cut a distance of 0.3 and click OK. Next, we're going to go up to the top left-hand corner, orange capital letter I. We're going to save as. We're going to make sure we're saving to our H drive, first initial, last name, 000. And I'm going to call this your name. And... Lost Marble Maze. So your name in Lost Marble Maze and click Save. Next let's take a look at running our tool paths. To do that we're going to select the Cam tab from the top above the ribbon and we're going to set up our workpiece. Click Setup Folder. We're going to run these tabs top to bottom and our tabs from left to right. So first I'm going to choose my origin. I want to change it from Stock Box Point to model origin. Then I'm going to come across to my workpiece setup. Here my workpiece is not one inch thick. I'm going to change that to 0.75 for three quarters of an inch. And my post process where my program name is, I'm going to tape and type in For your program name, type your name and Lost Marble Maze. Then click OK. Next from the 2D milling area, I'm going to select 2D Pocket. And I want to take and move my mouse in here until I can see my tools. I'm going to select Tool. Scroll down with this menu on the left. We're going to select Sample Tools Inch. The menu on the right. I'm going to scroll down till I find my eighth inch flat end mills and I want to choose the one two third eighth inch flat end mill down and click select. Moving across to my next tab I'm going to select the geometry I want to cut. Bring your mouse over here to the center of your workpiece. 
And right in here, we want to choose with our rectangle, I'm sorry, with our cursor, we want to choose our pathway. When it highlights red, click, and it'll select and turn blue. Next, moving across to our heights, I'm going to open up my clearance height. I want to change the retract height to stock top. And my height offset, I'm going to change to 0.2. The retract height area should be fine at stock top and 0.2. My feed height should be changed to stock top and 0.2. Once we have that done, let's move to our multiple passes. Right here, this box that says multiple depths, we're going to click that to select it. And I want to change my maximum roughing step down to 0.15. The next box down where it says stock to leave, I'm going to uncheck or deselect that box. And then I'm going to move to my final tab, linking parameters. For my linking parameters, I want to deselect to lead in, deselect lead out, and I want to change my ramp style from helix to plunge. Once you have that done, click OK. and you can see our tool pass in there. Next we're going to come up to the top and we're going to post process. I want to choose the one underscore Butler MP Techno easel and this blue box I'm going to click. I want to move this to my H drive click open my program name, I'm going to enter in as Lost Marble Maze. Make sure that that's here. And click Post. For my file name, I'm going to add my name in here as well. Lost Marble Maze. And click Save. When your file editor comes up, we're going to X this out in the upper right hand corner. We're either going to X out of Inventor after we save, or we're going to minimize Inventor, but we're going to save first. We're going to go to orange capital letter I, save as, I'm sorry, cancel. We already have this saved, so we're going to go to orange capital letter I and save to update our changes. Then we're going to X out of Inventor or minimize it. Move to the computer that has the CNC mill connected to it. Click the CNC mill icon. Translate Execute. We're going to go to our H drive. We're going to find our part in our H drive. Lammer's Lost Marble Maze. Click Open. Click OK. And we're going to select Preview. You're going to type the letter S and then F on the keyboard. And this is where you're going to stop. Call your teacher over to check your computer screen and help you load and lock the workpiece in the CNC mill. Congratulations, you are done. Now it's time to go get your teacher.